Let's do this. All right, we'll end day three or four. We're on to day five. Income has been counted. We'll dedicate a good amount of resources to this place. And we're just going to sit on our money for now. We are being attacked in the forest. They want their base back, it looks like. Uh, there's our brain. I don't think we have anyone else here. Which is problematic. Um, how much money do we have? Not very much. Probably enough for... I like the nail cannon guy. We're just going to spawn this guy with a nail cannon. We will spawn him here. And hopefully drop some nice stuff. Uh, the brain we need to destroy is to our right. And let me tell you, a nail cannon will do that for us. There's our guy with a nail cannon. He's fallen from the sky. Oop. Come on, get to the ledge. There we go. Ah, oh, heck, they've already spawned guys. Uh, nail cannon is a high rate of fire. Uh, decent damage weapon. Uh, accuracy isn't tremendous, but with a rate of fire like this, who really cares? Uh, long reload time. There we go. And that is how you win. So we've taken back the forest. We uh, had minimal losses, I felt. Um, which is good, because we spent all of our money buying a base in our new location. Um, there we go. Starting our next round, we've got a little bit more money now. We're actually going to dedicate some money to research and development in the forest, and we're going to attack the desert, which can be kind of dangerous considering it's a really, really well-defended place as far as the AI goes. The first battle is here in the desert. Let's see what happens. So they've built their bases right there. We're going to drop our guys over here. There's a nice spattering of weapons from where I died. Come on, dropship. There we go. We'll let him land. And now we want to try something else. So we've already tried a lot of these weapons, but there are more we haven't. Uh, one particularly I enjoy is the destroyer cannon. So we're going to drop down a dummy with a destroyer cannon right over here. And see how he does with that. I think they're dropping down guys already. It sounds like it. I just don't know where. So the destroyer cannon fires a... Uh, d uh, you'll see. Come on. Come on, derpa ship. It's a derpa drop. And you really don't care when it gets there. Derpa drop. So with this weapon... You take aim, really think about where your weapon's going, and then you fire Kamehameha in that direction. And it murders everything on the way. Holy cow! <laughs> that didn't work very well in our favor, now did it? Let's go ahead and grab another dummy body. We will have him drop via something that we can get back in one piece and drops a little bit faster. It'll be a dummy drop ship. It's going to drop right there. Meanwhile, we're going to get this brain up here with his nailer gun. So he can take some pot shots at the opposition. Stand up now. There we go. Alright, so this guy has no weapons. We're going to have him grab the uh, destroyer cannon. And as soon as he grabs it, we are running. we can stand here for a minute, because it appears they haven't noticed us. And let's rain hell on them, huh? Destroyer Cannon, because of its ridiculously large amount of power, does take a while to fire. Usually worth it, though. As you can see from that, just amount of annihilation. So we're going to come down here. No, 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 no! Ah, heck. Hopefully it'll go down in there with the, uh... Well, it dealt some damage to him. So, yeah. Powerful weapon. Really useful. Uh, interesting range and stuff. Come on, now get him. Alright, what other weapons haven't we used yet? I think we haven't used this gun, but boy, it costs a lot. We're going to use the Annihilator. 
you know, no, we'll go ahead and hold off on that and buy a scouting rifle. The Annihilator is a charge-up weapon, which if we can avoid using, I would rather avoid using, just because it's kind of a pain in the arse. Whoop! We're gonna duck for that. Stop shooting my brain's feet. He needs those for strategic feet purposes. Oh, that's right, they turned clipping off for teammates. There we go. And now I'm glad we got the assault, or the sniper rifle. Ooh, and he dropped a Gatling gun. I goosed to the Gatling gun. Uh, what do we have up here? Come on. Stop breaking the digger and shoot him in the head. Okay, we'll break the digger faster so I can shoot him in the head. There we go. Oh, that didn't sound very good at all. Ooh, but that looked fantastic. Alright, so that's one guy down. I think we've sort of... Oh, there's a guy over there, too. Uh, there was a guy over there, too. So we've got the sniper rifle, but I think we're pretty much done sniping. So we're going to pick up the remote grenade launcher, which is a terribly fun weapon. Oh, there's still a guy over there. And he sees us. Oh no! He pot shot killed my brain! Oh, okay, so this time, next time, when we play Cortex Command single player campaign, we will attempt to take this last base, we will attempt to defend our previous bases, and put our brain in a more defensible position than on top of the hill. Next time.